Let's learn how to make an aggressive shake on Premiere Pro with no plugins required. First, we need to make a slide effect or transition. This works best if you are making a TikTok edit, for example. So my height is longer than the width and the clip that I am using is 16 by 9. So it's got plenty of space on the left and the right. First, I want you to visualize how your transition is going to look like. So mine I wanted to start over here and then move across to the character's face. So it should be in frame, which means I'm going to increase the scale to hide all the black bars around the edges and move the position to the left. Maybe increase the scale just a bit more, position it down here and also decrease or increase the rotation. In this case, I'm going to decrease it. So I'm going to go for a negative value, which is negative three. I might increase the scale just a little bit more. So 160 should be fine. I'm going to push it down just a bit right there. I'm going to set a keyframe for the position, scale and the rotation. Then I'm going to head all the way to the end and move the position to my subject who is on the other side. I'm also going to decrease the scale now, you don't have to do this, but do it if necessary. I'm also going to flip the rotation around to a positive value. So you can either go for two or three. It depends on what looks best. So let me go two, which could look good. Let's try three. It's quite hard to tell if it looks good until we play it back, but I'm just going to go two for now and I'm going to graph it. So open up your graphs by clicking on this tiny arrow next to each stopwatch. So position, scale, rotation. And what you want to do is grab the handle for the second keyframe and pull it all the way to the left. The one for motion shouldn't be too difficult. You can just drag it all the way to the left. However, for the scale, what you want to do is make sure that it's on level with the bar next to it, which is here. So I'm going to grab it and pull it all the way to the left. Make sure it's not too high like that or too low on level, as I said, right there and let go. So it should look like this. Now I'm going to repeat this with the rotation as well. So pull the handle down, make sure it's on level. If it's too low, you'll notice because it won't look smooth. And plus you can see that it sort of dips here. So that means I need to push it up very slightly and let go. To finish it off, highlight your last three keyframes and push them all the way to the end. I think mine looks pretty good. So I'm going to nest it. So right click your clip head over to nest and click OK. Recently, I released a new editing pack and it's simple as drag and drop. So if I, for example, grab this effect or preset, it's called Heavy Shake 2 and add it directly onto my clip. I've now got an aggressive shake and all I had to do was drag and drop. However, I'm going to teach you how to make it right now. Head over to effects and search for transform, drag it onto your clip. So this one underneath distort and then head back into effect controls. Now what you want to do is keyframe the scale at the beginning and set this to 125. Head all the way to the end and reset this back to 100 and open up the graph. We're going to do the same thing like we did before. So pull the handle all the way to the left and make sure it's on level, then let go. Head back to the start of your clip, keyframe the position. So click on the stopwatch. And what you want to do is sort of randomize the position. So at the beginning, you could maybe push it up somewhere around here and to the left like that. Then head one frame ahead, reset it if that helps. I'm going to go for the bottom half. It doesn't have to be the corner. So what I'm just going to do is move the second value to push it down and slightly to the right like that. Then one more frame ahead, reset it. And I'm going to go for, let's go for the top right. So somewhere around here like that. One frame ahead, reset going to go for the bottom, which is just here. So the bottom left, one more frame ahead, reset it. And if possible, try and hit the very edge of the top. You can push it to the right if you would like to. But after this, head one, two, three, actually head one, two frames ahead and reset this back to its original value. Then you want to highlight your last five keyframes, not the first one but right click, head over to temporal interpolation and select ease in. The reason why I changed that setting is because in case I want to move or should I say spread apart the keyframes, the velocity between them, between each keyframe will look much smoother. Anyways, scroll all the way down and increase the shutter angle. So I'm going to go for 360, which is the max. And if you do play it back, 
you can see that you've now got an aggressive shake. However, it looks a bit ugly and that's because of the motion blur. So what you can do is search for two effects. The first is Gaussian blur, which is the most popular effect. However, for this example, I'm going to be using camera blur. This one is a little more heavy, I would say, so it can cause lag but I prefer it over Gaussian blur. So once you've added it onto your clip, scroll down and change the blur amount or percent to about 15 or around 15. In fact, even 20 might look good. There you go. So let's go for 20 for now and keyframe it. Make sure you're at the very start. So I'm just going to move it to the beginning. So 20 and then 5, 10, I think 10 frames ahead reset this back to zero and open up the graph there are two ways you can do this so you can either just right click on your second keyframe ease in some people might prefer this because it creates a nice blur transition but what i'm going to do is go further and pull this to the right just like before and let go right there to finish it off head over to effects and search for lumetri color drag it onto your clip and open up basic correction scroll down keyframe the exposure at the beginning make sure it's zero but once you head one frame ahead set this to anywhere from two to four so i'm going to go four i know that's a bit too bright but it looks good so it's okay then head five ten frames ahead reset this and right click your last keyframe head over to ease in now that's pretty much all you have to do this is my second attempt at making it and i have to say that my first one was much better it's got more impact which is this one here can you feel it? So what I'm going to do is delete these effects that I just made. I know, what a waste of time. And copy these ones over. So these are the ones I made previously. So I'm just going to highlight all of them. Right click, copy and paste them. There's something about this example that just looks much better. There's more impact. The flash can be felt. As I mentioned previously, you can get my preset pack, which contains the preset. Or you can purchase the project file, which is below.